Justice League Season 4 I was about to say Season 3 Now Season 4 Episode 3 Let's watch the episode I do not like this woman The Sambukel volcano went active during the night, sending a cloud of ash miles into the air. Geologists predict a devastating eruption sometime within the week. Sources report the Justice League has offered to help the Volcaran authorities with the evacuation. Yeah, have the car ready in 20 minutes. And get all the division heads in for the meeting an hour early. Amanda Waller. Well, it's still reeling from Lex Luthor's surprise announcement of his candidacy for President of the United States. Overnight polling among likely voters shows Luthor to be within striking distance of both major party candidates. <laughs> it would be actually funny if it is Batman who's doing that, you know. Oh, yes, he's Batman. Get dressed. It's time we talked. <laughs> Amanda Waller, born in East St. Louis, Rhodes Scholar, PhD in political science, served in intelligence under three administrations, disappeared from public life four years ago. Am I supposed to be impressed? Maybe I should rattle off your resume now. You know, I could blow the whistle on you anytime I want. Fine. Why don't we step into the light together? I'm sure the American people will be just as interested in your activities as mine. Secret weapons, illegal cloning experiments, bypassing congress what do you want i want to know what you think you're doing did superman ever mention that to get luthor's pardon he had to tell us about your parallel universe adventure all about it he started to wonder what would happen if you took the same action that the justice lords did so i had my people run some computer simulation if the justice league ever went rogue what do you think would be the result that's moot human in every single scenario you beat us badly but that was before cadmus now we have the technology to defend ourselves whatever you think you're doing if you present a threat to the world the justice league will take you oh yeah Sid. you've got a spaceship floating over our heads with a laser weapon pointing down in another dimension seven of you overthrew the government and assassinated the president just a good point though. Protecting our country from a very real threat. You. She's shaking. Yes, you're afraid of him. How long is this gonna take? I thought we had an island to evacuate. First team's already down there. Ready to return to active duty. And the doomsday weapon. Considering the damage done to its probably the doomsday weapon, the generation has been remarkable. So they've got they know all the weaknesses of the Justice League, and they're gonna use that. Have you developed a plan to retrieve the armor? We've come up with some promising scenarios, but they're going to require certain additional resources. Fine, see me after. What are they so worried about? We never try to take over like that. The Justice Lords did in their dimension. What's to stop us? Me. Those guys went overboard because their flash died. So as long as you all focus on keeping me alive, <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> Let's put a pin in that theory to explore another time. I've seen the federal budget. There's no funding for a project Cadmus. Where's the money coming from? We're all thinking the same thing. Luthor. The obvious suspect. He funded General City and confiscates your classified research. As you're well aware, any public discussion of Cadmus or its work will result in your immediate sanction. And rest assured, Doctor, our people will be here. Oh. Is that what he's thinking? Or did he just do it? I think that he is what he's thinking, you know. You can go now. Well, I'm glad they actually made a video for themselves, you know. Not for the Justice League. But obviously they just really will come and help them. Yeah. I'm still still alive. Under the title. I know you're faking. The lobotomized portion of your brain has completely regrown. Repeat. 
repeatedly injured. But not by Superman, by Amanda Waller. Oh yeah. Is it weird that I'm actually liking that, you know? Dispose of you. They put you in a rocket and shot you into space. Too strong. Your struggles through the rocket off course. And you'll solve both our problems? Yes. What if you start and accuse him first? What are you? Your problem solved. Well, I saw the run coming. He still hates Superman. Seriously, dude. This dude told you the truth. He's smart enough to. Okay, okay. He's smart. What's going on? Ma'am, Doomsday's escaped. My lord, I'll have his hide for this. Doomsday beat you to it, ma'am. I have a question. Why do people live near volcanoes? Seriously, it's very dangerous. Hard to say. I could just as easily set it off, so I have to go slow. Just get everyone clear as soon as you can. Oh, Doomsday has arrived. Oh, yeah. Doomsday. Superman, I'm here to kill you. This is a bad time. At this time, he can actually talk. Don't kill you why, I just wanna kill you. GPS puts the stolen pod on San Baccaro. Doomsday went right back after Superman. I love a well-conditioned soldier. And what will your soldier do after he's killed Superman? We can't leave him loose. For all we know, he'll try to kill everyone. These people don't learn anything. They know Akume does not like this. She's gonna go. She's gonna go in the opposite of me. Seriously, what is wrong with Amanda Wall? Its warheads lined with kryptonite. Can we hit it from up here? No, it's moving too fast. But who fired it? Amanda Wall. Yes, Mr. President. Call off the missile. How did you get this? Stuff? The missile headed for San Bocaro. If anyone dies on that island today, I'm coming for you. You do what you have to, and so will I. Oh no. Island! Amanda Wall just made big mistake, but I love this rival between you know Batman and um, Amanda Wall. Safeties have already engaged. I couldn't stop it now if I wanted to. Oh, yeah. At least she tried to call it off, you know.
He needs a new suit. New suit. Also, okay, we're not helping on the island though. Yeah. Is that even gonna work? Sword. It's gonna send you to another dimension. You won't be hurt, but you also won't hurt anyone else again. You wish you killed me. He'll do anything to avoid monitor duty. Sent him off to the Phantom Zone, <laughs> yeah. didn't you? He left us no choice. He's booking a chance. We'd never go there. It isn't in our nature, and nothing can change that. I hope so. What if Luthor does become president, like he did in their world? What would stop you from doing what Bat Superman did? There's always that kryptonite you carry around. You don't get to joke. Not today. <laughs> I just took a bullet for you. Good morning. He does a fine job. I'm sorry, Bruce. You're right. But you don't have to worry about the Justice League. Trust me. You, you know me. Yeah. I do. Get some rest. Incredible episode. Yeah, truly incredible episode. From the beginning to the end, it was just like, wow, wow, wow. And also I love the fact that they're actually touching on the story that they left behind. You know what, I think in that episode when I watched it, I did say this gonna, you know, come in and in the next few seasons they're gonna, you know, sort of pick up the end. Also, you know, Lex Luthor becoming president, all that, they kind of reference it or kind of set it up there. Now it's like coming into play. So I love that, you know, they're kind of getting into the whole idea of Lex Luthor becoming a president and uh the just really becoming just lords this season i think that's the amazing story and that going to be trying not to become those people and i'm interested in seeing what really happens do they turn into those just lords then you know realize it later then you know yeah just want to see how it turns out this episode has been an incredible setup and the rival between bruce wayne or batman versus amanda Waller. i can't wait to see how that goes because batman did say i'm coming for you Amanda Waller, so I just wonder how he's gonna do that. You know, he can't just go and punch him, obviously. So obviously, he's gonna think of the strategy to do it. And we know Batman is the greatest detective and strategist when it comes to those kind of things. So I'm wondering how he's gonna do that. But yeah, this episode amazing. And Doomsday coming back, also, you know, sort of, you know, for us to know what is really happening on Earth with the, these leaders and the militaries. It's just a nice, you know, touch on it that, you know, we money to never believe in the Jesse League. And if you see it on their way, on their perspective, you understand, yes, it's kind of scary knowing that there are people all up there with their laser and also superpowers that when it comes, if they just turn evil, they will kind of kill us all. So, yeah, if you see it on their way, it's understandable, but then again, these people have secret their life to make sure that these people are safe. So yeah, it's there for the ways, you know. You know, we could at least give them some trust at least. So yeah, amazing episode. So if you like the rich, make sure that you leave a like, subscribe. So we'll see you in the next episode. Bye bye.